But just to speak a little bit about like Palestinian cinema and content, the thing that was exciting about Amrika was that the North American audiences felt like it was accessible. They felt, this is a really a story about a woman who is divorced, her husband left her, her son is a 15 year old teenager, and she wants to make sure that her son has a, the best life that she can provide for him. So when she has an opportunity to immigrate, she takes it because she feels like that's what's going to give him a second chance, but also as a woman, give herself a second chance because she feels like she's not being fulfilled in her life. And people could relate to that. People could relate to a mother who wanted to do right by her son. People could relate to somebody who wants to have a second chance at life. And there was a lot of humor. Shereen put a lot of humor in the film. And she did that very specifically because she felt like the best way to tell the story and to communicate the longing of having to leave your home um, was, was humor. And we, we talked about it. We said, you know, like in our own families, you know, part of our culture is that we often laugh at dramatic or sad situations. It's kind of how we cope. It's, you know, you, you laugh about it. And um, I think that's very much in the film. So I think that the idea of making an accessible film was exciting for us. And, um, and in the end, you know, was successful.